It is the 27th of the 6th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Saskatoon, Canada hit with high winds, power outages, got trees down, uh, big storm roll through. Electricity was out again in parts of Saskatoon thanks to high winds bashing tree limbs into power lines. Post-storm sky produces rare atmospheric phenomenon, uh, mamantus clouds. A cloud formation called a mamantus appeared in the skies above Regina, an area following the thunderstorm on Tuesday night. That's a pretty cool thing going on there. Uh, Colorado wildflower wildfire of epic proportions displaces 32,000. Tests of firefighters. Firefighters again will battle infernal like conditions on Wednesday as they try to tame an explosive wildfire that has already chased some 32,000 residents from their homes near Colorado Springs, Colorado. This is a firestorm of epic proportions, Richard Brown of the Colorado Springs Fire Chief said late Tuesday. Winds gusting to 65 miles an hour through mountain canyons blew the wildfire, blew the wildfire through the containment lines and into northwest Colorado Springs on Tuesday afternoon. This is one of many fires going off in the southwest United States right now. More Florida sinkholes open up, including 100 foot wide gash in Marion County, Florida. Uh, got a bunch of sinkholes going on right after the Hurricane Debbie ran through. Florida riddled with sinkholes. Multiple sinkholes open up in Hernando County. And uh, this is one where they had like a bunch of little ones just sprawl out across the neighborhood kind of thing. Landslides, floods kill 76 in southern Bangladesh. This is an ongoing situation, you know, with the four villages that got buried I reported on yesterday. Um, landslides and floods caused by heavy monsoon rains killed at least 76 people in southwestern Bangladesh. As rescue workers Wednesday were searching for more missing. I uh, got a 4.6 earthquake hits northwestern Iran. Uh, no reports of damages or injuries. There's another Colorado fire, Waldo Canyon Fire Colorado, uh, worsens, forcing 7,000 more from their homes. And it's another ongoing, this one they're calling a monster, Colorado wildfire. And Flagstaff, blaze at two to 300 acres, pre-evacuation orders for South Boulder, Colorado. Again, many big wildfires going off in the southwest United States right now. Over to the watchers. Uh, El Hero Volcano, Canary Islands, powerful earthquake swarm without earlier comparison, eruption, warning. Uh, they're saying there was a plug, that's why the volcano quieted down a few months ago, and uh, apparently it's found a new way through, and uh, magma is definitely moving underneath this island. Uh, they're just not sure where and when it might break through, kind of thing. So definitely one to keep an eye on it once again is uh, the Canary Islands. Tropical Storm Debbie opened new sinkholes in Florida, and here's the, the due to the barometric pressure and the, and the climate and stuff. Um, they said they opened up several new sinkholes uh, last few days in Brooksville, Florida, and uh, again we have all those sinkhole reports coming out of Florida right now. And uh, Tropical Storm uh, Duxuri or. Dindo, D-I-N-D-O, heading toward the Philippines and Taiwan. Um, just another part of the system, the way they roll up uh, along Japan, and uh, that's just what we need, more uh, tropical storms turning into tsunamis out there. And the tropical storm Debbie made landfall in Florida, of course. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, of course, we've got... Uh, Extreme flooding in Bangladesh uh, due to their typhoon, monsoon, type rains. Extreme weather in China again. The, uh, over a million and a half people had to be evacuated and that kind. They're dealing with their monsoon rains. Uh, the flooding in Canada, of course. The province of British Columbia and the Mission area. And of course all the forest fires. Uh, Colorado, um, Utah. Some major flooding going on in Afghanistan right now they're reporting on. was that other story? Ah, oh, in Sweden, the Peace and Love Music Festival in uh, Dalarna County, um, 17 people were, fans were struck by lightning uh, during a thunderstorm rolling through there. Um, so, 
some extreme weather going on in Sweden too. That's about all I got uh, climate wise right now. Let's just go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff. I'm going to start you off on EXSKF Blogspot. Uh, they've been covering the Fukushima crisis since day one. Japan to raise sales tax from 5% to 8% and then to 10% in an effort to boost economy. That's what the politicians and NOTA administration have been saying. Does that make sense? I don't think so, but nothing in Japan has done, particularly after March 11, 2011, makes much sense. So they are raising the taxes and, uh, where is it, where is it? The reason given to the Japanese for the tax hike is to pay for increasing cost of, for welfare and medical benefits for the elderly as a government reform of the welfare system and the tax system, but there are only vague words of reform. And the benefit for the elderly will further be decreased. There is no corresponding decrease in personal income tax, and there is no exception such as food items. In fact, personal income tax will be raised in the next 25 years to pay for the great recovery from the earthquake and tsunami. Big corporations, particularly large exporters, are very pleased with the sales tax being raised. It won't hurt them, as they will continue to get tax refunds for the overseas sales if the products are made in Japan. The insanity and corruption continues. They're making the people pay in more ways than one. Uh, did Tokyo Metropolitan Government create the hot spots in uh, Mizumoto Park? Uh, just outside of Tokyo and basically what they're saying is the park um, service was scooping out all the mud and crap out of the rain gutters and the drains and distributing it around the trees in the park like they've normally done year after year after year and they're not taking consideration the radiation so basically um, they are spreading the highly radioactive um, waste that that collects in the rain gutters um, around the trees and into the park and they're only measuring one meter off the ground for their specifications they're not measuring down by the ground where the where the meter is higher um, to do this so the insanity continues but uh, they're created the hot spot that is in the park in uh, Tokyo and KEPCO can't find po photos of the fault on Oi nuclear power plant but NISA says no problem so basically, you know, there's a big fault line running through the OI nuclear power plant. They're saying it's between two and three, and it's in a sub subclusion zone. Or um, they're not saying. Um, basically, Kepco saying it's the the fault line's not active, uh, but they don't want to come up with the, their proof, and they got to redo more studies again. Um, and they're still firing up these reactors on a fault line. And uh, over to daily news. Fukushima Diary. Uh, you can't work longer than 30 minutes in reactor number one uh, because of too much radiation. They're saying uh, the, the reactor in the ground level one, number one is 10 times uh, what it is in number two. Endoscope operation in reactor one suppression chamber is broken. Flooded water is hotter than previously known or PVC, PCV. Reactor number four foundation is so soft that they need soil stabilization and we're wondering why they're doing the big uh, rushy rush on the number four right now, tearing that building down, at least the top floor. Typhoon number six generated offshore of the Philippines and that's the one I reported on earlier. Plutonium measured from marine products fished offshore in Fukushima. These are the products they are now reintroducing into market. I know they're saying they're taking these straight to laboratories and whatever. Uh, the insanity continues. And of course, TEPCO is removing the upper part of reactor number four. And uh, that's why they put the 60 ton brace over the top of it, um, was to help protect and keep anything from falling in the thing uh, while they're tearing down this top floor. And uh, here's a very important story. Silent Spring comes to Fukushima. Uh, basically they're saying uh, they're out looking for the swallows and the sparrows and uh, they're slim to none. There's hardly any wild birds uh, running around in the wilds of Fukushima Prefecture. Um, they're doing studies and the same thing happened after Chernobyl. Um, and again, this is just getting started. 
32 swallows found dead at the water purification plant in uh, Nagano. And Prime Minister Noda, quote, I can hear the demonstration. And um, he's saying, uh, Japanese Prime Minister commented he can hear the yelling of demonstration every Friday. And uh, told the Japanese people are concerned and angry on, on 625's Committee of Reigning Consumption Tax rate for the House of Representatives, but he's still turning on reactors and raising taxes, but, uh, no, we can understand they're upset. And, uh, anti-nuke protesters rally in Noda's hometown, so they're taking it on the road and across the country, which they should. Finally, over to ENA News tonight. Nuclear engineer TEPCO implies there is plenty of damaged fuel in Unit 4 fuel pool that they can't even touch. Like I said, I saw reports earlier where there's literally cracks in the floor of spent fuel pool number four, uh, where this water is draining directly into the basement, and they're using pumps to suck it out from the basement back into the top of the fuel pool to keep the fuel at a constant level. Um, this thing is not secure whatsoever. Breaking news, South Korea bans 35 Japanese seafood products due to Fukushima radiation fears. Uh, I do not blame them one little bit. Government tests find plutonium in fish caught off Japan's coasts. What do you think happened to all that MOX fuel that exploded in reactor number three? And uh, Japan's TV anonymous uh, penetrates government computer, posts message opposing nuclear restart on ministry website. Nice. Anger and test intensifying. Mayor says that TEPCO report is a whitewash. I feel they are liars. I have nothing but doubts about this report, the mayor said. And I don't blame him one little bit. It's been one whitewash for over 15 months now, 16 months. Gunderson, I've heard of numbers as high as 2 million may die of cancer because of Fukushima. And he quotes on a video. He's starting to take the gloves off. you got to understand, he is still pulling his punches uh, when he does his reports. So, uh, Arnie, step up, man. There's no time to hide it anymore. Let's uh, embrace the reality, shall we? And uh, I'm going to leave you tonight with uh, TEPCO chairman. If crisis worsened, it's difficult, to, it's difficult legally to order workers to stay at Fukushima plants when all of them could die. We can't give them an order that might lead to their deaths. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks. Oh! <laughs>